Ladies and gentlemen, science has just proved the brilliance of how I met your mother. It was really only a matter of time. Anthony here for D News, and if you watch How I Met Your Mother, then you are familiar with the cheerleader effect. The theory by Barney states that people are more attractive when they are surrounded by friends. And guess what? If you believe it, science says you're awesome. Open your brain, bros and lady bros, because here comes some premium 91 octane knowledge. This week, a study published by Psychological Science found that when we visually take in a group of people at once, we tend to average out their facial features. A hundred people were shown images of other people, male and female, alone and in groups. Everyone rated the people in groups more attractive. Not by a ton, but enough to bump someone up about 2% attractiveness. And I will take that. From now on, I will always use the buddy system, no matter where I am headed. You might be wondering, if a group's looks are averaged, wouldn't the more attractive people be brought down, even as they're giving the less attractive a boost? Well, here is the mini cherry on top of the regular cherry on top of the Sunday of awesomeness that is this study. It turns out that we actually like average faces better than attractive or unattractive ones because they have fewer idiosyncrasies. We see them as more normal and approachable. And here is some more awesome. Be cheerful leader effect is actually better in real life than on the show because the people you're surrounded by don't have to be your own social group. The study found that just being in a place surrounded by others made the participants find the people in the pictures more attractive. And you can optimize the effect too. Let's say, hypothetically, strictly for the sake of argument, that you're somebody with squinty eyes or maybe ears that stick out. If you hang out with someone who has huge eyes or ears that are too tucked in, which I don't even think is a thing, you actually directly even each other out, which is interesting because you would imagine that the opposite would be true and you would make each other's differences more pronounced. So much good news for us average folks today. It's almost enough to make me feel above average which I guess is the point. I have to wonder why this happens. Is it our brains just trying to grab all the information in a space quickly? Does it have something to do with overloading the constant comparison of the fitness in potential friends and mates that were always running in our heads? I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know and subscribe for more D News.